Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a requested video. I've been posting about my caviar sticks since forever basically, but I don't think I've ever done a makeup tutorial using only my caviar sticks. I've done lives on my Instagram and tutorials on my Instagram stories, but I've never done a makeup tutorial on YouTube with the caviar sticks. So I decided to do a few looks. So I'm not gonna put them all in one video. So today I'm gonna go for the glam look or the nighttime look so that you guys can see with only four or even three if you want caviar sticks, you can create the look that I'm wearing today. And the only thing that I have on top of it it's eyeliner, which I always have, my wing liner, because I didn't use any other separate liner for my waterline. I use the same caviar sticks. So the only thing that I have on top is um, the wing liner that I use and then the mascara. I didn't use a primer because they stay put so long, so well. I love the caviar sticks from Laura Mercier and I've been so lucky to get a lot of them, a lot of them on PR. Even when I first received one, it was because I purchased it as a 100 point perk and I finished it completely. It was the shade Rose Gold and I fell in love with the formula. And now that I own them, I always talk about Coco, always talk about Metallic Taupe and then on my last video the 10 products that I would repurchase that I've gotten on PR. I showed you those two and then I also mentioned caramel which was a new find and a new one that I got. So I'm showing you swatches on this video so that you guys can see the colors that I'm using on my eyes on swatches and I'm planning to do a colorful look and then an everyday office look. So which one you want to see first let me know in the comments below and without further ado if you want to see how I create this look. A tutorial, a talk through and see me using brushes with them and talking to you guys about them then just keep on watching okay so the first thing that you need to know that these caviar sticks are thirty dollars which is pricey but they will last you a long time at least i find that that's the way that has happened for me even though i use them constantly and they come in this little pencil form and you don't have to sharpen it. You can use a brush when you need a more precise application. That's what I do. But I use them a lot on my eyes, directly on my eyes, and I blend the edges with a brush. You can build them up and you can build them up and they will never get crusty or you know that when they get flaky, this is not what will happen with the caviar sticks and they come in different finishes. I find that even though I think they have three finishes like satin, metallic, and matte, I find that, that even some metallics are more of a satin or more of a shimmery than a super metallic formula. The reason why I love these two that I'm showing you today, the metallics, Moonlight and Metallic Soap, is because they are bomb. Those type of metallics that they're almost, they're almost like glitter on your eyes. So I love them so, so, so much, but they always look expensive. Another thing that I love about the caviar sticks is that they are super long lasting. If I apply them right now, this has, I don't think five minutes that I apply them on my hand and you can see me rubbing, rubbing super hard. And I got a little bit off, but they're mostly there. And we never rub our eyes that way when we apply eyeshadow, at least I don't. So for me, even if I run them or if I put water on top of them, they will not budge. I will show you. So if I apply water, this is a bottle of water that I have here and I wet them completely, they stay put. So that's the way they work on your eyes and they're easy to remove with a little bit of makeup remover or makeup removing wipes. So you don't have to even worry about that. I just wanted to show you guys that they are hardcore. And if you have oily eyelids or if you have mature lids, these are the type of products that I would recommend to my aunts. They're gonna be taking a class with me, a makeup class with me soon, and they're over 50 years old. And they don't know how to do their eye makeup and they want something quick for when they're going on a date or when they're just um, going out and about. And I think caviar sticks having three or four or the amount that you want, of colors that you want, because they have a beautiful shade range and they have a rose gold collection right now that's beautiful, it's to die for. If you love roses and pinks, that's to die for. They are the products that you will use for every day, for office makeup and for glam nighttime makeup. 
and you can transform your eye look throughout the day and it will be the easiest. You will only need one or two brushes with them to do different techniques on your eyes. So I know that they work for beginners. They have a learning curve to them because you need to know how, how long you can go without blending them before they set, which is super fast. Uh, you need to know that you have to do one eye first and the other one later or just go one and one and apply them when you're gonna blend them. Don't apply them and leave them sitting there because they're gonna set. But as soon as you get the hang of it, they will become your favorite too. So I will leave the colors that I used today below and I will leave them linked below on different websites if you wanna check them out. But I adore them and I would highly recommend them. They can be a one-stop shop and you can even take 10 colors on a trip and they're gonna take way less room than an eyeshadow palette. So that's it, let's just go into the tutorial and you can already see the finished look, but let's just go in and see how I created this look. Okay, so the caviar sticks that I'm gonna use for this look are cocoa, caramel, metallic taupe, and maybe cobblestone, but you guys will see. I'm gonna just use these colors. I will talk to you guys through the tutorial so that you guys can know how I use these colors. So the brushes that I'll be using are the Morphe JH40, which is a small blending brush, then the Classic Crease by Sonia G, which is a bigger blending brush, and then I Light is three brushes, then the Morphe 213, which is this small shader brush. The transition color that I'm using is Caramel. I apply this without even thinking about it. But you have to be quick when you blend them. That's the only thing that you need to know with the caviar sticks. If you wanna build it, you can build it always. So I'm gonna do one eye and then I'll do the other one so that we don't take forever. Then I'm gonna go with Coco, which is my favorite caviar stick, which is a dark brown. It's supposed to be a shimmer, but I don't see any shimmer in it. I thought it was a black. So you can apply this heavily or lightly. You have to just get the hang of it, but you will see that when I start blending it, I can diffuse it pretty easy and I can blend it pretty easy. Once it's blended, I add a little bit more to the parts where I want it to be darker and I blend again. And then I go in with metallic taupe, which is the one that I have loved <laughs> for ages as well as Coco. So this is a really, really metallic and it's really vibrant. So I apply this in the inner corner of the eye. You can see how metallic that is. So what I try to do is just blend the edges so that it can mix, it can mesh up well with the dark color. But this is the easiest and longest lasting cut crease of life. So that's why I use the small blending brush, just to mix the two together and then to blend the edges because I hate, hate sharp edges when, I, when it comes to makeup. Now for the inner corner highlight, since I wanted it to be lighter, I usually use metallic too, but I wanted to play with more of the caviar sticks. This is one of the newer ones that I have and this is Moonlight. So I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner and I apply it directly from the caviar stick. And these are beautiful inner corner highlights. If you want something that's gonna be useful to you and that it will be useful in the way that you will adore it so much that you can use it every day. Usually when we apply inner corner highlights, they sometimes tend to budge if we are allergic or if our eyes water, but these ones do not budge. When the caviar sticks set, they set for life. You have to remove them with a makeup remover. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going in with cocoa and caramel. So the first one that I'll be using, it will be caramel and I will apply it closer to the lash line. Basically, as I do any eyeshadow, I always apply the transition shade first and then um, I go in with the darker color and I'm gonna blend it with a small blending brush. Just the edges, because I don't need to blend it that much. It's not a dark color. And then with Coco, I use the small brush that I showed you guys at the beginning and what I do is I go in like this, just in the tip of the brush, and then I start meshing the color. Then I clean the brush and go sideways so that it's completely blended. And then since I like sort of a wing, I go with the same brush and in the same way. And, and I will just start lining the parts where I want 
the eye to look lined and darker. So I connect both parts right here and I can go with the smaller brush and blend any hard edges. And the other thing that I love about the caviar sticks is that I can use them in my waterline and they will not budge. So the reason why I love Coco so much and why I fell in love with it so much besides being able to do a smoky eye basically in less than five minutes is that last year or the year before that I started again doing a cat eye. And what I love about cat eyes or the foxy eye is that you line the inner rim of your waterline. But every single liner that I would use to do that it would crease on me. This one is the one that can stay the longest. Of course, you get a little bit of gunk in your eye and whatnot, and that's okay, you can remove it, but it's easy to reapply, and when you apply it, it's the one that would last the longest. It's, it's not responsible for the gunk in your eyes, that's just the way eyes work, but it can last a long, long time. I don't know if that was TMI, but I do makeup on clients, and clients, even while you're doing their makeup, they will get um, watery eyes or gunk in their eyes and some products will not stand that will just budge and then these type of products when they said they will stay put the longest than any other product that I've tried I don't like to film this process but I will do so for you guys for the inner corner I grab my small brush so that I can get in there and you can see how that elongates my eyes. And then I'm gonna use metallic taupe for my waterline, my bottom waterline. Tuxedo is one of the shades that I don't have and I love to do a wing liner with black liner. And Tuxedo is the black uh, caviar stick. So I'm gonna go in with the KVD tattoo liner, the black one, and then I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'll be right back to show you the finish look. Okay, so this is the finish eye look. And then for my lips, I'm gonna use my favorite combo. You guys always ask about my lip combo. So this is the MAC lipstick in Cherish in the Satin Formula, I love this. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Fussy by Fenty, the gloss. Okay, so I wanted to show you the swatches of the colors that we use today. This is Caramel, this is Coco, this is metallic taupe and this is moonlight. Caramel, cocoa, metallic taupe and moonlight. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know below which caviar sticks you want to see next. The colors, if you want to see the colorful one or if you want to see an office everyday caviar stick tutorial. For an emoji today, if you watch the entire video, let's just put something related to a stick or to caviar in the comments below so that I know that you stay till the end. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.